everybody, this is Nolan here, and welcome to another episode of Danganronpa uh, 2, Goodbye Despair, and welcome aboard my arc. I'm here with my buddy Dylan, and uh, in the last episode, what we did was uh, we went through, like, just the first, the second island? Third island. The third island, right. Okay, so without further ado, let's, uh, let's get right into this. So yeah, so we already got into the third island. So now, is it breakfast time? It's breakfast time. <laughs> so yeah, we basically just like went through the third island and kind of discovered everything and saw. Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> oh. Level up from seeing Mekon. Level right. up. Oh my god! All right, let's just go. Pet. Forget our pet. All right, friend. Were we gonna focus on the pet? Uh. <gasps> what the? What? <laughs> Look, it's a monkey. Gory me. Wait. What why is that a? Why? Have you ever seen that before? No! I've seen her as a snake, but not as what? a freaking gorilla. She's a monkey. <laughs> All right, she's a gorilla. I don't, I don't know, but she evolved. I guess. Okay, let's just keep going. <laughs> Why? That was disturbing. <laughs> uh, I don't want to. That looks like the the monkey from like, what's that one movie? Oh, Tarzan. The faces of everyone who gathered at the restaurant all look somewhat lighthearted. Everyone must really be happy that Fuyuhiko is safe. Then... Um, the day ended halfway yesterday, so let us try to put together our information about the new island. Jeez! In the end, we couldn't even find a way to escape from this island, right? Seriously, you guys are useless. Oh, we're gonna see the next motivation? Yeah. Yes! Yes! But there's a music venue! I see. I got that, but what about the clues that was really, uh, <clears throat> clues that we really need? Clues like information about this island, or anything that might help us to understand what's happening to us. <laughs> In the town, with all those machines, I found a clue contained within a file inside one of the laptops. You saw that too? Um... I was told about no, uh, told about by that by Nagito, so I checked it as well. This too. I saw it too. It's about the fact that Hope's Peak Academy has already been destroyed. Huh? Oh, Hope's Peak Academy has been destroyed? Wait, what? What? Wow. Oh wait, yeah, I remember that. Wait, eh, I vaguely remember that. Anyway, it's probably just another one of Monokuma's pranks. There's no way Hope's Peak Academy would fall, uh, because Hope's Peak Academy is a person. <laughs> I don't know. But even if it's a prank, it's not something he, uh, he should be, be allowed to do. A symbol of hope getting destroyed, it's not something you should even joke about. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, if you're still wondering about it, it might be better if you just confirm it by yourself. For yourself. <laughs> hey, if I remember to do it, I'll give it a try. How pitiful. So basically, on that island, we found no way to escape, nor any useful clues this time around. <laughs> oh, hold on. It's this time again, not this time around. <laughs> you had to correct it this time! <laughs> However, it is not all bad news. For you, Hiko will be able to return to us. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, he's a strong guy. To like, Didn't he get, like, stabbed? He got, like, his eye cut out. Oh, my God. Uh... That guy pisses me off, but uh, but it sure makes me happy to think that uh, he's gonna come back to us. He's recovering extremely well, and please don't to be discharged in the hospital in one week. However, <laughs> he's probably lost to you to my eye forever. Oh, he's gonna have an eye patch? Yeah. Oh, uh, Thor? <laughs> Thor's son? He totally deserves that. What? Man. Hey, 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 aren't you going a little too far? <laughs> Man, I sure did eat. I'm stuffed today, too. <laughs> what did I miss? <laughs> hey, what I miss from SpongeBob oh, the Chick. Right. You certainly eat a lot without even listening to what the others are saying. Um. Okay, and since I'm stuffed, I should go train now. They're both oh. shoving their fingers up their ears. Like, he's like, <laughs> and she's like, I, I know. Yeah, try train, you say? You hate training? How rare of you. Yeah. If I don't do it, I won't get stronger. I have to do it. Bye now. <laughs> oh my my! She's like really pumped up. Maybe her training could just be eating. <laughs> she wouldn't get any stronger, but her stomach would. <laughs> okay. Ha! I hope. Ha! <laughs> I hope she's not thinking about doing anything bad.
<laughs> Foreshadow. <laughs> with, sorry. with that, our morning our morning meeting ended, hmm. and we all went back to our cottages. Hmm, what's she planning? <laughs> I hope not. It just fades to black, <laughs> and she killed someone. <laughs> the end. Uh oh, stinky. Oh, is it free time? Yeah. Now then, what should I do today? Wait, free time before the motivation? Yeah. I forgot. Okay, whatever. I guess it's all random. Okay, who do you want to see? Uh, it's not about who. Actually, I gotta get the mono coins first. Oh yeah. All right. So I already have like a list of written down stuff. So let's see here. So on the right of the theater in the lobby, we got that one, right? Yeah. No, did we? We got the one in the theater. Okay. Uh, you'll see four circles on the left side of the Electric Avenue. Okay. All right. Let's go. Uh. There it is. It's Am I right blind? There. Yes. Here? Oh, that's it. I didn't even notice that that was... Okay. Huh? I've been found? Huh? I've been found? <laughs> Alright. Oh, we got a lot of coins. We're gonna be getting a lot. Okay. In the hospital on the end... Okay. Cool. Oh. I guess I'll just check the rooms. It doesn't seem to be in here. There it is. Oh, found it. Fun fact, I actually saw that during the investigation, and I tried to get it, I've but then the investigation found. ended. What? And I couldn't get it. Are you serious? Yeah, and then I went back in like chapter four, to, uh, chapter five to find it. It wasn't there. It wasn't there. Oh, that must be annoying. <laughs> oh, it's... oh, what the frick? Rest in what? Peace, huh? Okay. Are you serious? All right, in the bathroom next to the victim's room. Oh, that's that's way later, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're done. Ah. <laughs> nice. So nice. So very All right. nice. All right, let's leave. All right, let's talk to... Yep, okay. Who do you want to hang out with? Um... Who have I not talked to? I don't know. Check the report card. <laughs> I wonder what sort of motive Monokuma's going to prepare this time. What should I do? Can I even hang out with someone like Nakito? Uh, of course you can! <laughs> I'm so blessed to hear you say that to me! <laughs> I know. I spent time with Nagito today. Nagito, Nagi, Nagi, Nagi. I guess Nagito and I grew a little closer today. Yes, definitely. I would love to give him a present. He deserves it. <laughs> All right. Um. Yes. All right. Thank the Lord. Is that the like though? That's. The I like. don't care. <laughs> um. Hajime, um, I don't think you say this, but this is the first time I've ever received a gift that made me this happy. Thank you. <laughs> They're not even surprised that he's like giving him a gift. Okay. Oh uh, wow. Let's do delivery boy. <laughs> Literally, the hope fragments didn't go up when you talked to him. What? Yep. Because no matter he's... no matter what, you're never gonna get closer to Nagito because of. Okay, fine. Delivery boy time. <laughs> that's delivery bright blue. Boy. All right, fine. Da, 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 Whoa. Oh, that scared me. I thought I was like, continuing with the story. All right, let's keep going. Run around in circles and I'm still not getting there. I don't know what song I'm singing, but oh, I don't really care. All right, cool. Whoa. Hey, what are you doing pacing around and uh, singing a stupid song like that for, little guy? Such a restless man. Ah, <laughs> oh, sorry. What should I do? Should I invite Nekomaru to hang out? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> then come with me, and you'll see! I shall teach you the secret of cow killing! <laughs> what? <laughs> Today I learned how to keep my wits about me when facing a large opponent. Why? <laughs> Looks like Nekomaru and I grew a little closer. What the frick? Alright, wait, wait, what do I give him again? The, uh, gummy plant? Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, frick. Alright. I have rightfully received your male spirit! <laughs> if you want, I'll accept you as well! Come on, bring it all! Hey, hey ne Nekomaru! Uh, hey, Nekomaru! Wait, Frank, my voice! I've been hanging out with you for so long! <laughs> There's something I've been wondering about ever since we first met. Hmm, I've been thinking the same thing about me that- uh, You've been thinking about me that much? <gasps> I see, then I guess I must accept it! Come on, bring it on! D don't misunderstand! Hey, why are you walking toward me? Did you just tell me to come to you? Jeez. What? I was about to offer to do it to you. No! no what's it? I sort of want to know. Wait, I definitely don't want to find out. Then... The game. <laughs> Fine then. So, what were you going to talk about? Yeah. I wanted to ask why you're just a team manager. It's just? 
<laughs> just? Are you mocking me, the management of a profession? No, I didn't mean it like that. Hajime, I don't know anything. All roads lead to managers. If you yearn to master something, it will naturally require a manager's help. Countless records in this world would not exist without managers. The bond between a top-notch athlete and their manager is one of that not, cannot be severed. Bond? Oh. Until now, I've been with various athletes. Yeah, looking back, there was all sp uh, splendid athletes. I had a baseball player got an offer to join the major league while he was still in the middle school. Leon! Leon! Do you think that was him? Probably. Aww. A figure skater who performed six and a half spins? Who's that? And a tennis player who managed to win. Tennis player, right? Isn't he in the third game? Yeah. Probably. Managed to win 36 hour long match. They were all people who surpassed me. D do people like that really exist? Jeez. Now that you understand, I don't mock managers. As long as you never do that, I'll lead you to victory, little guy, no matter the match. I'm not much of a sports guy anyway, but more important, he's got a lot of confidence. And I can understand how proud he must be to be a team manager. Just as I thought, Nekamaru is an amazing guy. <laughs> not amazing in the way he just did. Okay, handled Hajime, okay. Mm, did you just praise me in your heart? How'd you know? <laughs> Hold on. When you and I face each other like this, we are... One, both body and mind. Yep, yeah, we are one and the uh, same. Nah, yep, we all play the same mind. I can easily see what you're thinking! <laughs> one in both body and mind? I really don't want that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just neck them up. Hey, yep, we are one and the same. Oh, no. Yep, we are all one the same, little okay? guy. Hey, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. I'm used to being showered with praise. I'm so popular that there are teams all over the place fighting over me. That's crazy in so many ways, but there's no denying that he is an amazing guy. I feel like I got to know Nekomaru a little better. Yay! Yay! That's what we didn't get from Nagito. After listening to Nekomaru's talk about his heroic esca escape escapades. Ex escapades for a while, I went back to my cottage. Oh, we got all, like four out of the five Monokuma stuff. Plushies. Ding dong, bing bong. <laughs> Peak Academy School Trip Executive it is now. Please return to Melbourne. Uh, Monaquema. I know, I know. It's not like I have anything to do, so I should just get some sleep for today. It should, it should be okay to have a peaceful day like this for a change. It should be okay. <laughs> it should be okay. You guys? Hi! <laughs> <laughs> it's a way. <laughs> It's a waste of time to constantly worry about things. Well, if you really want to waste your time that badly, I won't stop you. I'm not saying that the killing meaningless time is bad or anything. I mean, even happy times, sad times, painful times, fun times, times you want to remember or want to forget. Funny valentines. They all end up becoming nostalgic memories eventually. So, is it killing time more by worrying about things in an effective way with dealing with that worry? <laughs> Do your best about worrying about things and killing time! That's like su they have like such shorter Monokuma theaters in this mm -hmm. game. My voice cracked. Ding dong bing bong. In this game. <laughs> Ding dong bing bong. <laughs> Ahem. Hope speak a cat. <laughs> Wait, what? Really? <laughs> Good morning! Look, I you remember that? Perfect drop. What? Day. What the actual freak? Get out of my room! <laughs> what the? <laughs> hey, what a huge success! I received such a nice reaction. Ibuki, how did you get in here? Ibuki, uh, jeez, Hajime, you're so careless. I don't freaking care. Get out! <laughs> I'm like, he's like in his underwear. I made sure I locked the door. He's like in his underwear. God. <laughs> No! And I destroyed that worthless lock. Why did you destroy hey, it? Hey! Meh, who cares? More importantly, there's something important I need to tell you. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Four that was just three. I don't like her at all. <laughs> if you've got time for day picking others, then hurry up and meet me at the restaurant. <laughs> I'll explain the details there, so I'm cutting on you. She's like a hurricane. But she did take the time to come all the way to my cottage to summon me. Did something bad happen again? <laughs> I can just imagine. Oh, wait. I'm feeling a little depressed now. He's like drooling in his sleep, and she's just like, hey! 
okay? And then, like, he just wait, and he's, like, in his underwear, just gets he's out like, of bed. He's, like, sleeping on his, like, stomach with his butt and, like, standing up, oh. and she just, like... <laughs> oh my, no, she's, like, spank. He, like, like, oh, you mean, like, he, like... And then Hajime is, like, ah! <laughs> oh my god. Ibuki! Ibuki! Oh, I never told you this, but there's actually stairs outside of a restaurant you can take to get there. What? So you have to just go through a room and then. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> the Skeksi. Why did I say that? I don't know. Zahando! <laughs> no. <laughs> when I arrived at the restaurant, the first thing I saw was. everyone's backs. <laughs> As if they were forming a circle around something. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! No, 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 no! Hey! What happened? <laughs> but, As I said that, I peeked over everyone's shoulders. <laughs> What's going on here? I got something I want to say. <laughs> what the frick? Is, is the big man giving a speech? It's baby face! Hey, Yuhiko, is it okay for I, you to be moving around like this? I got soon? something I want to say. <laughs> Whatever I say after this point, I apologize in advance if I make a mistake. <laughs> Is he talk of this game? I think so. <laughs> Peko, <laughs> no! And then just becomes like Super Saiyan. <laughs> My last name is Kuzuryu. My first name is pronounced Boo Yu He Ko. What is happening to I'm him? still an inexperienced member of my family's business. From this point forward, I hope we get along so we can get to know each other better. What is he? What's wrong with him? He hit his head too hard. <laughs> just, what the hell was that? Huh? It's, it's nothing, really. Just a greeting. There's no way that was just a greeting. And yet, I feel like that was the first time Fuyuhiko ever greeted us. <laughs> um, that eye patch of yours? Nothing. It's nothing. You do what you got to see the eyes to Sure. So, you can't see out of it, huh? <laughs> It's only one eye. Besides, don't I look like I've gained some prestige or something? However... For you, Hiko! Why are you acting all cool and stuff? Don't you understand the position you're in right now? Hiyoko? Ew. Do you really think we'll forgive you for that as easily like you did? What, what you, do you really think we'll forgive you that easily for what you did? Don't you get it? It's your fault Mahiru was dead. No, not just Mahiru. Peko died because of you too. It's all your fault! Uh, and Hiyoko, and he finally had been able to just go with everyone, so just shut up! <laughs> and? Huh? So what if we're all here? You better not say we're friends or something. There's no way a killer like him will ever be our friend. Oh, that's mean. Yeah, you're right. It's all my fault. I already know that. It's my fault that those two are dead. You. Are you planning to give us your so what attitude? I... It's not that. As he squeezed out those words, Fuyuhiko suddenly collapsed to the ground. Oh my! Fuyuhiko! Huh? What the heck? Hey, don't mess with me! Do you really think we're gonna forgive you if you just dropped your knees and cry? Wait! Do you really think a half-assed apology will make us forget what you've done? She- I hate her! God! No. I don't think that at all. <gasps> oh my! <gasps> huh? This is. No! It's blood! It's blood! The hickey! I did it! Get it! What? Huh? <gasps> You're saying that he couldn't open his own frigid stomach? What? The? What? What are you doing? I I didn't think I'd be forgiven with such a half-assed apology. But if I don't do this, my my feelings won't feel resolved. You fool! That doesn't mean you shouldn't spice your stomach. We must carry it to as much as possible. You're right, God's wish you lend me a hand. This is bad. Yeah, yeah, sure thing. Stop it! I can walk there myself. There's no way you can walk. <laughs> Even though I took the time to pass you up, now I need to show your wound all over again! I feel so ashamed. In, in the end, I made trouble for everyone again. Let's go! 
The others carried Fuyuhiko out of the restaurant. I thought they made their breakfast! Did you really think he died for a second? Yes! I thought he literally just died right there. It was like, I'm sorry. Just bleeds out. Like, the no first motive. Murder, a no. body has, uh, wait, he killed himself. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> but for those of us who were left there. Oh, poor for you, Hiko, well, bro. What a jerk you are. You just made him slit his own stomach, jerk. How should I start up a conversation? Well? Hey, Hiyo. Oh, my God. Where have you been this whole time? <laughs> hey, Hiyoko. I've been thinking about this for a while, but um... what would my hero uh, say about all this? I know you guys were best friends, so what do you think? <laughs> what would my hero say? You piece of garbage! <laughs> I'm never gonna tie your Kamino again! She'd probably get mad. Really mad. And after she got mad... She slapped me across the face! Give me five across the butt! <laughs> it's definitely not possible. There's no way it'd be that easy to move on. We never had to think about death until we came to this island. So when we're forced to suddenly confront it, there's no way we know how we're supposed to deal with it. We're not that strong. Hey. Hmm. <laughs> this is a rare rather sorry. This is a rare occurrence. If you're thinking about saying something inappropriate again, now's not the best time. No, it's not that. Does anyone know where Akane is? Huh? Uh, now that you mention it, she's gone. It's so strange for her not to join us for breakfast. I don't mean the breakfast. That's not a member. Okay. I have a bad feeling about that, too. A bad feeling? I mean, hasn't she been acting a little weird since those past few days? How pitiful. She's always weird. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I, I'm a little worried, though. She's not the one I'm worried about. <laughs> Oof. An, an awkward feeling lingered as we finished breakfast. Soon after, we all decided to return to our cottages. And they beat the breakfast! <laughs> oh, man. I've never felt so fatigued in the morning before. It's probably because of everything that's happened. But I should put that feeling aside and move on. There's no such thing as a useless day for Wait, so anymore. we actually slit his stomach? Mm -hmm. So we can't talk to him, obviously, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to somebody else. I'm coming for you, Sonia. Oh, I'm coming for you with my freakishly long legs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a gonna co I'm... I'm, I'm a coming, I'm a coming for you with my freakishly, oh my god, I'm here for you. Dang it! <laughs> no! Oh, I screwed it up. <laughs> Darn it, I went the wrong way. I was surprised, so it was like, uh, what Japanese Hiroki looks nice. like. He actually cut down his own stomach by himself. This life of Yakuza must be truly difficult. What should I do? Should I invite Sonya to hang out? I I'll make you feel better. I, I should like to. I would like to bring Fuyuhiko a gift while he was recovering. <laughs> would you like to help me choose a gift? What? <laughs> I spent time today with Sonya thinking about a gift to give to Fuyuhiko. What if the gift I give to her has to be a gift to Fuyuhiko? I mean, that wouldn't be a problem. I probably don't deserve it, but it looks like Sonya and I grew a little closer. Yes. Oh, <laughs> you're giving me this? All right. <laughs> what a wonderful item. Then I shall accept it without any reservations. Um, I must say, this island is truly a wonderful place. The weather is calm and the sea is blue. Truly a perfect resulting setting. Besides the murder. Anyway. <laughs> that might be true, but... Besides the killing game. Oh, my. Oh, did I say something strange? No. I was just thinking that you're strangely calm right now. Sonia, are you really not worried about our current situation? Uh, of course I'm not! <laughs> I, I'm not scared of anything! <laughs> of course I'm worried. I'm always also angry. Jeez. Jeez. This is not something to joke about. Who's joking? However... However, what happens next defends to defends on- Is she like Sayaka number two? <laughs> she has like a lot of like- Anyways, uh, she's like bipolar. I don't freaking know. I don't freaking know. What happens to the next- uh, As long as we do not kill anyone, this will be all fine. That's the right attitude, but... We will. <laughs> they will. Somebody will. Besides, I have to come here to learn about your country. I would understand it if they were my homeland, but in this case, this island is foreign well? to me. I do not intend to kill anyone, and I do not intend to be killed easily either. The way she said that sounded a little dangerous. If this were my homeland, so would this be okay in your country? <laughs> anyway, let's just forget about killings and then cooperate with one another so we can return home quickly. If you have any good ideas, feel free to let me know. I shall also do my best to think of something, too. Yeah, you're right. 
When I speak to Sonia, I somehow feel really positive and optimistic. <laughs> Such an honor! <laughs> Raise your head! There is no need to worry! What she's saying sounds odd, but she certainly looks the part. Typical for a princess, I guess. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. What's the name of your country? That's what I call the country's name was... Uh, Frick. Novoselic, right? Yeah. It was the Novoselic Kingdom, right? <laughs> hmm. Sounds as though you finally remember. Well, it's not a country I've ever heard of. Yes, that is under understandable. It is often overlooked by uh, cartographers. Uh. Your Novoselic King our Novoselic Kingdom Kingdom is an extremely uh, small country and is governed by all absolute monarchy. By an absolute monarchy. Though the population is small, our economy is thriving, so we are not in dire stra sta straits at all. For generations, the royal family has protected the kingdom and its people from all neighboring countries. Thanks to that, the people still have complete trust toward the royal family. Well? And also, wine and chocolates is one of our country's hidden specialties. I see. It really does sound like a kingdom. Uh, okay. <laughs> So since you're the princess of that kingdom, does that mean you live in a castle or something? Yes. Of course, the royal family has been living in the royal castle for over a thousand years. Though it may be an old and small castle, a truly wonderful and historic of building. Of course, it's easy to get lost in the subterranean labyrinth and our barracks are full, fully equipped as well. So castles really do have those. Uh. Um, anyway, is this alright if I ask you something as well? Hmm? If I can answer it, it's fine. Do, uh, who do you? Who did you have your heart set on initially, and who do you intend to switch out to later? You and you. No, I'm just joking. Uh, uh, no one because uh, they're dead. <laughs> just joking. Not my hero. Huh? Uh, this situation is truly similar to the story of seven men in wood. I believe this stand attacked to start wavering and swapping partners. Um, hold on. What are you talking about? <laughs> do you really have no idea? It's Japan's legendary drama. Well? It starts off really upbeat, but then it gets really serious. I never expected that to happen. It was like, seriously, what's going to happen? <laughs> I just could take my eyes off the screen. <sighs> Momoko, what? Momoko's feeling at the time were, feelings at the time were, my goodness, so intense. I continue to listen to Sonya extensively talk <laughs> about Japanese quoting dramas. <laughs> at least now, I totally understand that she's a major J-drama fangirl. I'm not, because even though I'm Japanese, I'm not. <laughs> Hajime's not. Alright. After politely excusing myself from my long conversation with <laughs> Excuse Sonya... Excuse me, just bows. <laughs> <laughs> I left the area. You should, like, put a little more emphasis on that accent with Sonya, because you kind of lost it a little lately. No, I did... Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's still bright out. There's still plenty of time today. Did I not lose it? Wait, I just lost it just now? No, you didn't lose it, but it's kind of, like, faded away. Oh, okay. There's no way I can just stay here and do nothing. Maybe I should try going somewhere. Somewhere? <laughs> video games, video games, and more video games are great. Oh my god, there you are. The love of huh? my life. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Huh? What happened? Are you bored or something? What should I do? Should I hang out with Shiaki? No! Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sonya just <laughs> is, is at the window. What are you doing, Hojime? <laughs> I'm bored too. Let's think of a way to kill time together. Mm. Huh? Not, I mean, let's make, uh, think of a way to kill together. <laughs> huh? Oh, we can kill time together with that, I think. I killed time with Shiaki as we thought about different ways to kill time. What? <laughs> Let's kill time with killing time. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Shiaki and I grew a little closer. Whee! That poop wrist of hers. Yeah. Ethan says we make too many poop jokes and he doesn't like it. Right. Uh -oh. Huh? Stinky. That looks fun. <laughs> I know. Poop. Alright. I'll play around with different ways of using it when I go back to my room. Thanks. <laughs> Whoa. Stop. Stop right now. No- Oh, she just falls asleep. <laughs> Every single time. I can't believe how quickly she falls asleep in such a short time. Samurai dead. Sorry, Samurai dead. Statue of Liberty. Ah, uh, don't shoot the beam there. What? This is bad. Zombie nation eating up humans. What? Is she dreaming about a game? I have no idea what kind of game she's talking about. Sorry. Uh, sorry. I think I was sleeping again. Are you playing a video game in your dream too? Yeah, it was fun because I was shoot. It was a shooting game. What? I see. So you like those kinds of games? Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty all inclusive. I'll play anything from Space Invaders to the latest military shooters. Ah, uh, I think like simulation. I also like simulation games. Right now, I mainly play real-time strategy games, but I like to uh, like turn-based ones hey, too. Hey. So where do you want to go today? Yeah. Um. How about we go to the ranch today? I really don't like animals that much because I don't like going outside because I play video games and I stay inside and I don't like the light. <laughs> really? 
Yeah, that's why I'm the ultimate gamer, you idiot. <laughs> They're warm, you touch them, you know. Like, that's a little scary. <laughs> Let's, let's, all right, you got Nekumaru. Let's kill some cows. You got her. Um, no. It's kind of hard to guess what they'll do next. Yeah. I'm better at games that use precise calculations where the success and failure is decided by numerical values. But it's hard for me to play games where I can have to manage relationships and guess what characters are feeling. I see. Maybe that has something to do with her upbringing. I don't want to do things Shiaki will hate, but it feels like, it feels lonely just to leave her like this. <laughs> How about we look at the animals from far away? The ones at the ranch are pretty tame. You can even try to touch them if it looks safe. Okay. I think. <laughs> if you teach me lots of things, it'll probably be okay, I think. Is she relying on me? If so, that makes me happy. Shiaki and I decided to walk around the ranch. Mm. Oh god. It's- oh my, it's a cow! <laughs> I wonder if it's gonna dance like the one of the dancing eyes. What? <laughs> that might be a little difficult. Um, maybe I should try touching it a little. What? Touching what? Shiaki walked up to the cow and cautiously oh, oh. pet its back. Oh, I thought she meant it a little, like the cow's udder or something. The cow seemed not to mind. It Just bites her. silently <laughs> eating grass. <laughs> wow, it's really warm. Well, that's because it's alive. <laughs> Is she getting excited over a cow? Mm. I see, you're right. <laughs> Unlike humans, animals don't mind being touched that much, so that might make it easier for me. If you touch a person, something is born from interaction, right? Repul uh, repulsion, a anticipation, whatever. I'm nervous about stuff like that. It makes me think I'm better off doing anything unnecessary. It, like, it's better off if I just say any innocent bystander for as long as I can. Shaki's feelings seem a little odd, but I do understand where she's coming from. I hope one day she can touch not just cows, but people too. <laughs> Hajime, what and that's the? a lesson for today, folks. I hope one day she can touch not just cows, but people too. <laughs> what the actual- <laughs> what conclusion is that? What conclusion is that? I don't know. <laughs> okay, just keep going. Ah, uh, you know, if we just milk this cow, I'm sure no, the fresh milk was no, really tasty. No, no, get out, man, get out. There's milk germs in the cows. cows. That's why you gotta, like, you know, uh, do something to the milk. Mm -mm. I gotta fertilize it or something. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you gotta do that. Huh? Um, <laughs> you know that milk comes from cows, right? Not just cows, but people too. <laughs> well, maybe the hearts of people. I don't know. Cow no, <laughs> milk comes not from just cows, but people too. Milk, stop. <laughs> right now. Oh my god, man. What do you mean from milk is milk, right? You'll be the first person to be banned. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> All right. You know, if you pull a cow's udders, milk comes out. No! You only need one cow to get as much Why? milk as you want. Shut up, Audrey. Shut up. As much as you want. But if you try to cut a, open a milk bottle, then a cow comes out of it, right? Wait, what? A cow comes out of a milk bottle? <laughs> and if it dances right, I knew it. It's definitely a dancing eye. What? Seriously, what kind of game is she talking about? I explained how milk works to Shiaki in detail. <laughs> I love Shiaki so much. She's so funny. Why are there so many things she doesn't know? There's annoying it's jerks weird. like Ibuki. Sorry. Annoying jerks like Hiyoko. Jerk. Uh, not sorry. Annoying kids like uh, Ibuki. And then you got hilarious kids like her who's actually like really funny. <laughs> if you cut open a milk bottle, a cow will come out. What? What is happening? <laughs> Hajime is explaining how milk works to Shiaki and, she, and he's just like... No. Dylan, no. <laughs> the titty typhoon. Let's take a walk with me to the titty Let's typhoon. Let's go to titty typhoon. No, okay, just go. Shiaki started to feel sleepy from playing too much. <laughs> and after sending her off. My channel's gone right, from PG to rated, uh, to rated X. <laughs> no, rated PG-13. Probably, anyway. I'm sorry to all the kids watching this. <laughs> you don't understand, or you probably understand too much. Okay. It's getting dark outside. It's nighttime already. That felt fast. Ever since I arrived at this island, a day passes by abnormally fast. Ding dong, bing bong. <laughs> the doorbell? Does that mean oh, someone's it's a, here? It's not a bing bong, it's just a ding dong. Ding dongs, bing bongs, ching chongs. No. I cautiously <laughs> walk toward the door and open this door. I can just imagine. I'm, okay, I'm not. I'm gonna tell you after. I'm not gonna say it because it's <laughs> it's racist. Wary of it's what racist. might be on the other side. It's bad. I'm sorry. Nice to have met you. Nice to have met you. <laughs> It's the past tense of nice to meet you, you know, because we already exchanged nice to meet you's. Ibuki, 
you again. You didn't even talk to him about what you were gonna talk about before. That's totally <laughs> Allow me to apologize for surprising you with my sudden visit. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, 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 it's sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, it's a lot better than last time when you broke into. Wait, well, it's a lot better than last time when you broke into my room. <laughs> Start speaking like her. <laughs> so, you must be the type that holds grudges. My ears and joints hurt. That means you've gout. So, what do you want? Um... Uh, Ibuki doesn't get it either, but it looks like an invitation was sent to everyone. Why does she talk to about herself in the third person? Oh. Invitation? Yes. See, this thing. What the? That's totally a girl's writing. Let's see. A recovery party for Fuyuhiku at TD Typhoon at 9 o'clock p.m.? What? What is this? Is Monokuma- is this Monokuma student again? You. How rude! Don't put it in the same category as Monokuma. Is this your doing? I don't know what you're talking about at all. I Ibuki just brought the invitation. It's definitely her. <laughs> well then, Ibuki has some preparation, so I'll go on ahead. I'll leave it to you. Well, that was so random. <laughs> she even said preparations. She's completely behind this. Uh, TD Typhoon is that music venue on the third island, Why right? do they say that, though? Why do they call it that? I'm having to say that on my PG channel. Well, it's PG-13 now. Fine. Huh? 9 o'clock p.m.? That's in 30 minutes! What?! But even though <laughs> <laughs> it's a party for Fuyuka's recovery, <laughs> is he gone? Is he going to be able to come? He just, like, checks a drawn-on watch, like Patrick, because he has, like, draws his watch on him. That's in 30 minutes! <laughs> oh, wait! <laughs> wait, <laughs> okay, sorry. After all, he just split his stomach this morning. <laughs> stomach in the morning! But she took the trouble <laughs> to do this out of goodwill. That's I guess gonna... I should head over to the music venue. That's gonna hurt in the morning. All right, the music venue. Imagine if, like, that's how it actually happened. Like, he's like... I, I, I know, like, that fast. I gotta get there now. <laughs> gotta eat it now. Uh, meeting her, right? <laughs> I was about to say something, but whatever. Several people have already arrived at the music venue, but... Fuyuhiko, why are you... Huh? What? Is it bad I came? No, not that. Is it okay for you to move around? It's gonna be fine. Yeah, it's nothing. so. <laughs> they took the time to throw a party for me. There's no way I wouldn't come. I understand how you feel, but you really uh, uh, shouldn't overwork yourself. I'm not overdoing it. Jeez. Fine then, just let him down. He will do whatever he wants. What? Bit, bit. Huh? It's fine, just let him be. Apparently Yakuza have pain tolerance down to down to an art. I can't believe he's actually forcing himself to join this kind of event. The old Fuyuhiko probably wouldn't have come no matter how much we invited him. He's probably trying his very best to change. Hey. But but it looks like Hyoko definitely didn't come. That seems to be the case. Huh? And Akane's not here too. Well, what's that wild woman off doing? I hope she's not planning to do anything strange. As if on cue, right when Nakamaru expressed his unease, that's when it happened. Dun 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 dun. My. Oh my. Suddenly, the stage lit up very brightly, and the person who appeared was Akane. Monokuma. Oh, hey, never mind. Is that what? Okay? Get off my lawn! Get off my stage! Get off the stage, boo! Sorry. My specialty is making beef stew! Just why? Why is beef stew at her? <laughs> <laughs> boo, you stink! I may not look like it, but people tell me that I'm a nurturing type. Get out of here. So I'm gonna do my very best performance so I can make everyone feel better. I hope you're all pumped up! Just as I thought, that's what she was going for. Well, she is the ultimate musician, after all. I can't imagine what else she'd do at the music venue. All right! I'll start singing this first song with full-on energy! So, put your hands together for... From Me to You too. Oh my god! Since she was originally a member of a high school girls band that dominated the music charts, I can probably look forward to her musical stylings. Probably not. <laughs> Can I skip this? Should I just listen to this for a bit? Just for like a little bit?
Okay, I'm done. Thank you, everyone! <laughs> what if she just started? You skipped it. Thank you, everyone! What was that? Ah, yeah! I'm, done. I'm gonna get cursed! What? Such an overwhelmingly bowful renaissance. Even my four dark devas of destruction look less lively than usual. Something like this. And I, I too, I'm starting to feel chills. With that tale from me to you, I thought it was going to be a sweet love song. If I recall, the reason why Ibuki left the high school girls band was... Because she sucks so much. <laughs> uh, creative differences. That must be why. <laughs> Yahoo, it's awesome! That's the first time I've ever heard such a famous song. I hate her so much. She agree- Ah, get out of here. Kyoko? I'm glad. Ah, you came. <laughs> so, so what if I did? I was invited to, you know. But... But if you're taking a Hiroko's recovery party, that means you're already, you've already. That's not it. You stupid. Don't misunderstand. There's no way I'd forgive him that easily. Hey. Because he's a Yakuza, you know. Wait. He's the type of person who preys on people by tricking them. Ever now, even now, he's probably just pretending to be sorry so he could try to trick us. Please wait. There's no way that is possible. No. I get why she think of that of me. Huh. Yeah, that's right. That's why we're never going to believe in you. Get it? This doesn't mean we've made up or anything. I'm only cooperating with you until we get off this island. Huh? huh? So... Just remember, if anything happens, you're the first one who's gonna get cut off. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I'm glad I really... I'm glad I really, really good. Wait, I'm really, really... Glad. Oh, what? Ew, don't cry! Pigs have no right to cry! You're grossing me out! I see. Fuyuhiko's not the only one who's trying to change. She's also trying, huh? The old Hiyoko, there's no way she would have ever forgiven Fuyuhiko. No. Hey, what are you looking at? Nothing. Okay. Somehow, even though it's little by little, I feel like things are starting to turn around. But, that's some more reason to worry about him. Monokuma. Monokuma! <laughs> There's no way he's not gonna do anything while he's watching us like this, right? Boring! Hey, how much longer are you guys gonna be bummed out? I came here because you guys said it was a party. Yay! Come on, Ibuki, hurry up and get the next song! Oh, no. Roger, thanks for writing! Let's go right ahead to the next song! Huh? There's still more. <laughs> Nagito. Now that this recovery party is in full swing, I've got a ballad prepared that totally fits the mood. Robert oh Parker, my god. And slow dance too? I squeezed out the baby. No! I had to skip that because I didn't want for anyone to see that. I, I, no. <laughs> hey, hey, what's everyone doing in here? This is inappropriate. <laughs> Whoa, Monami. Jeez. Hey, don't interfere! I was just enjoying such a fun party, too. Uh, I wasn't invited to the party. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously not. You ruined the party if you were even here. What? Double gas! <laughs> but seriously, now is not the time. Now is not the time to enjoy a fun party. Why? Ooh. A body. No, just, uh, Akane is. Emergency. Akane is doing Monokuma. Sakura confirmed? What? What would you say? At this point, I kind of gonna be in a danger. Please do something to save her. Mm -hmm. It looks like my bad feeling was correct. Mm -hmm. That stupid fool. I squeezed out the baby. No, no, no. No, I'm the one who does the fool. It was my mistake not to keep my eyes, eyes on her. As a team manager, I should have had proper grasp my athlete's private life. Dang it, this failure will haunt me for the rest of my life! Um, um, my name is not ne or my name isn't Nekomaru Nidai! Um. Then now is not the time to re for regret. Let us make haste. <laughs> of course! We well, can finally return to us the thought of anyone else in this group getting taken. I won't allow it! I will never allow it! <laughs> hey Monami, where's Akane and Monokuma? Um. Uh, um, do not the beach where we first arrived this island. Please hurry, if you don't, Akai gonna get killed. You don't have to tell me, I'm going full speed ahead. We should hurry too. Nekomaru bolted from the music venue as fast as his legs could take him, and we followed him soon after. When is the motivation? Like now? I should hurry too. No. Ah! Uh. Ah! Hey everyone! 
<laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> Come back! <laughs> Timmy! <laughs> Come on! Just warp to the Wait, beach. where are we going? Just the beach. Warp to the beach. Oh, the beach? No, the first island. Oh, no crap! I got a crab! <laughs> oh, I can just warp. Oh. I got crap on the <laughs> deck. <laughs> like a joker's donkey. I'm gonna crap on dick like a joker. After running there at full sprint, by the time I got to the beach and struggled to regain my breath, I saw a shocking scene unfold before me. Akane, looks like you're just barely avoiding any fatal injuries. Yep, at least your agility is worthy of praise. But did you only challenge me just so you could show me your sweet dance moves? Damn it! Why can't I even graze you with my attack? Well, you know, we're on completely different levels. That means we view the world differently. It's like a character from a punk manga challenging an enemy from a super-powered battle manga. <laughs> it's obvious you can't win. Hey, hey. Is this is she really serious about not even, even raising it? Akane is just fighting st a stuffed animal. Hey. Monokuma is an advanced machine. If it's designed for combat, it's probably capable of exerting such power. However, as far as speed is concerned, Akane is far faster than the athlete I've ever seen. And she says she can't even, even graze it with her attacks. Is that even possible? <laughs> However, because it, it, it's possible, that's why she's in the situation, right? How unfortunate. As long as she's ended up like, like that, there's not much we can really do about it. At the very least, we should just overcome the despair of Akane's death and use it as fuel and uh, bolster our hope. It's not talking about hope, right? <laughs> like Fuyuhiko did, you, you see? Don't fuck with me! Don't fuck with me! I never want to feel that feeling ever again! If I have to feel that way again, I'll make sure I stop it, even if it costs me my life. <gasps> no, you can't! You really die if you keep uh, overexerting yourself! <sighs> it's just a little life Peko gave me. It's not precious anyway. <sighs> you stupid idiot! That's all the more reason you need to take care of it! Huh? Don't stop me! You guys stay back! I'll take it this from here! Nikomaru this is Nikomaru Nida's firework! Make sure you sear it into your eyes! Now oh my! Then, it looks like everyone's here, so I might as well finish this! No, Monokuma, don't do it! I say I won't allow any rule violations against me! <gasps> this is what happens when you break the rules! No! No! Disappear. No! 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 <gasps> the world shook and turned shark stark white as if the surrounding scenery and every sound was blown away by the impact. No! It was all completely white. And within that white, I heard a voice. Ah! Uh, uh, <gasps> no! <gasps> no! N Nekomaru, why did you s say th No! <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Supporting their athletes is a manager's duty. H however, what a shame for someone like Nekomaru Nidai to. who was just a little shot. From a bazooka. I really am the worst. <laughs> Get a hold of yourself, Nekomaru! Akane, the time I've spent with you, it. it wasn't so bad. Why? Don't die, Akane. <gasps> he actually died? Just like that? My god! Monokuma's just the worst! Oh my god! Are you kidding me? Nakabaru ah! ah! died! What? 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 Holy crap! Instead of the rule violator Akane! What the hell? What a major failure! I ended up killing Nekomaru! 
nothing to do with this. Hey! H hold on! It ain't faint. Uh, it, it, it's faint, but it's hard to still beat it. He's not dead. <gasps> eh! Ooh. You gotta hurry up and tweet him! Hey, Monokuma, you can do something about this, right? Save Manor Nakamaru like you saved me! Hey, hey! Th that's right! If you kill someone you didn't violate the rules, that means you the one- uh, That means you the one makes you the one who violated the well, rules. Then let's just say we're even! What, huh? <laughs> In exchange for forgiving Bakane for breaking the rules, let's just say Nakamaru is the sacrifice. Yeah! So isn't it okay to say we're even? Hey. You're, you're going to save him? Jeez, because I have no choice. It's annoying, but it'd be boring if he died a meaningless death. So, so for today only, I'll activate my special trump He's going to be saved? Oh my god. And that's when it happened. A siren started raining <laughs> out of nowhere. A second siren? Okay, so he's going to be saved. It gradually came closer and closer. Oh no, it's going to run him over. <laughs> Just like... This again? Just leave the rest to me, Doctor Kilgood. Why? Even recycle the same line again. We gotta get this patient to the Monokuma Hospital ER and get him under 24-hour observation stat. So why? I'll see you later. I, I think well, uh, he just he didn't die. And after he said that, the ambulance, the ambulance containing Neko Monokuma and Nekomaru vanished from our sight. What the hell? Why did this happen? What's going on? Hey, he's gonna be all right, right? Nekomaru's gonna be saved, right? Of course! He's obviously gonna be saved. <sighs> but Fuyuhiko finally returned to us. I cannot believe Nekomaru's gone now. No, no more! I can't stand it anymore! Hey. Hey, could you stop yelling? Screaming won't help, you know. This isn't cuz! This just happens when we let our guard down. All this talk about everyone getting the lawn, we were just fooling ourselves. We were just pretending we understood the situation we're in. Teamwork, friendship, cooperation, nothing matters. The stupid ones will be killed one after another. It won't be a mystery when you're eventually betrayed. That's why I'm never gonna rely on anyone. That's the reality here. Uh, Are you saying it's as meaningless for us to even work together? Yeah. It really did have meaning. Nekomaru wouldn't have ended up like that. He ended up like that because of his weird feelings of friendship. You. Hey, you understand too, right? When the stupid ones try to act on their own, it makes trouble for everyone else. Hey. So can you please not involve me? I don't want to die a meaningless death. What is Hiyoku, blaming Hakane, Hakane will not help solve anything. <laughs> we don't have to worry about it that much, that, uh, about Coach Nakamaru, huh? huh? Man, that's disappointing. It's all your fault and you're not even worried about him. <laughs> Hakane, you're not worried about Nakamaru? <laughs> Damn it! N there's no need to worry about worrying. I know Coach Nakamaru is a monstrous guy. There's no way he's going to die from something like that. There's no doubt Nakamaru's definitely going to come back. So, so, when that happens... I'll make sure I apologize to him, because I was too weak and I caused him trouble. So when he comes back, I'll make sure to say I'm sorry. Akane. Oh, remember we crossed out Fuyuhiko? Yeah. Oh, wait, maybe we shouldn't have. <laughs> As we all returned to our cottages, we were silent. Even if we opened our mouths, only words of worry could come out. We all knew that. When we saw Nekomaru's tragedy happen right in front of us, once again, we were all taught. If you think you won't die, well, that's just wistful thinking. On this island, without any warning, people die. That is the nightmare we're trapped in. When you think you've finally woken up from the nightmare, you realize you're still inside it. And thus, the nightmare continues. Okay, <laughs> enough of that. <laughs> On super! to the... Monokuma Super Fable, Story 58. A Tengu came down from the mountains. A long time ago, there was a village that was afraid of Tengus showing up. The Tengus apparently did as they pleased, such as stealing food and kidnapping women. But... Is it really the Tengus' fault? Isn't it actually humans' fault for ruining nature by destroying the mountains where the Tengus lived? If you think monsters are scary, it's humans that are the scary ones. Everyone, now it's time to rise up against the humans. We must protect nature from the humans and return the world to a peaceful place where monsters roam free. Bring it on! Monokuma Super Fables, they end. Okay. 
Ding dong, bing bong. We'll probably end it off uh, here. Yeah. Hope speak a Oh man, let's just read this. As thing. usual, well, even if I said that, it doesn't matter anymore. But I greeted the morning without having slept at all. I really wanted to see somebody, anybody, as fast as I could. I felt like I had to share this anxious feeling with someone. I couldn't just deal with it alone. I should go to the restaurant for now. Okay, guys. Uh, yeah, this is probably a good place to stop, <clears throat> most likely. I don't know how long the rest of da uh, daily life is. We have a lot to go. Yeah. Uh, about another hour, a little more. Probably. Maybe, all right, fine. We'll see how it goes next episode. Uh, yeah, it's probably going to be it, so... Anyway, guys, uh, yeah, in the next episode, we'll do the, hopefully the rest of daily life. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, hope you liked the video. Comment down below. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next adventure of Golden's Art. Bye! Bye.